Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick update to the tutorial on how to add items from Blender or your 3D program into Storyboarder. So real quick, let's go back and pull up the chair I used originally. So I'm going to open the file. I'm going to open it directly in Blender. All right, there's our Hari chair. All right, so now what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna export this chair as it is into Storyboarder. Now, go File, Export, GLB. Now, one of the things you need to make sure you do is come over here and click Include and Limit to Selected Objects, okay? So I'm gonna do that and I'm going to pick the file that I used. There we go. GLB files. This is in my tut today's tutorial folder, and I'm going to say, call this update three. Practice this one time already, but here we go. Update three. Now let's pull over to Storyboarder. Open shot generator. Pull in a reference character and an object. Let's move the object to zero. And no rotation. All right, now, go to object properties, click select. And let's pick is simply and select and this. doesn't turn out it's not exactly what we can tweak it a little bit more uh, and double click and go to let's say 3.0 or 0 0.30 maybe a little farther I'm sorry, 0.25 is what it was there we go. So we got it to 0 0.25 and it looks about right. Okay. That's if you didn't want to have to mess with the settings in Blender. But sometimes objects are so big that this doesn't work. So here's how we do it in your 3D program. So let's minimize this for now. Let's come on back over to Blender. Here's our chair the way it is. We're going to add a armature for a reference. And I'm going to move him a little forward on the y-axis. Give me some room. Now I'm going to select the chair, and all we do is we simply scale it down. Now, before I do that, pull up the menu here, and here is our information for our chair. Okay, I'm not going to mess with this, but just take a look at it. Here's what we're going to do now we're going to hit scale, scale it down. I'm going to shift to the side view. We scale it down. Take my armature and I'm going to slide him back just a bit to make sure the chair is right about his knees. Perfect. Now that I've scaled it down with the chair selected, I'm going to go Control A and I'm going to apply all transforms. Now, by doing that, I have now set the new size of the chair. So now I'm going to go up and I'm going to File, Export. GLB. Again, make sure that selected objects, limit to selected objects is checked. This way it does not pull in the armature. Well, actually armatures don't come in, but if you had a person here or any other object on the screen, it will ignore it because it's not selected. So I've got it set. I'm going to change this to update four. It's in the same folder I had before. 
today's tutorial. Now it's exported. Let's come over here. Let's go into our scene. I'm going to add a new object and I'm going to leave it right there. I'm going to go select. Now I'm going to pick Hari Chair 4. And there it is. It's scaled now. In your 3D program like Blender, you can play around with how much you adjust the size, scale of the chair, uh, but to get it down to the right size, that is how you do it within your program. Now from here, I can go in and I can fine tune this just a little bit. Uh, let's say I want it to be 0 0.98. Yeah, maybe a little more. Let's go with, let's try eight. Too short. We'll go with eight, nine. And it's about the same size as the other chair. Okay, so hope that helps. As always, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Send me a comment showing me anything else that you would like to see demonstrated. And I hope you have a great day.